Hello, everybody. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody, and welcome to All Games No Masters, the art, uh, the GMless RPG uh, Exploration Society branch with Saving Throw show over here. Welcome to the Society Explorers. Um, before we go around the horn and introduce everyone, we just want to remind you of our goals. Next week is going to be our last episode. Or is it? You can help us unlock a ninth episode if you donate or gift subs or um, uh, do things like that. So if we get 400 subs or $1,000, we will unlock that ninth episode. If you would like to send us a message, you can do that through your bits, tips, and also your gifts of subs as well. $15, 1500 bits, or 15 gifts, uh, sorry, five gift subs, will give you the opportunity to send us a message. You know you want to bother us. You know you want to bother us. You might as well. You might as well just do it. Um, we are currently at 50 subs and $250.32, but anything can happen. We believe in you and the power that you possess to make the thing happen. Um, so yeah, uh, your support helps us keep this content on the air. So we really appreciate everything that you have donated and gifted so far. We really could not do this without you. Uh, so thank you so much for your support. Make sure to check out Die Hard Dice, where you can save up to 10% on uh, dice using the code NATURAL20 uh, at checkout. Uh, use exclamation point DH dice in chat, uh, or you can follow the link for more info. And lastly, we want to welcome any watchers of the VOD on YouTube and remind you to like, comment, politely and subscribe and uh, make sure you tap the bell uh, so you never miss another video from us. Uh, we like hearing from you, especially when you have nice things to say. <laughs> listen, we all no, we I'm... all know what YouTube is. <laughs> yeah. No, listen, if you have something not nice to say, I suggest you like go in your backyard, dig a hole, shout it in there, cover it up, and then come back because I don't want to hear it. Put it in a jar for later. Yeah. I don't want to hear your negativity. Also, thank you, Life Action Ro Roleplay, for the raid. Hi. Raid. Love y'all. Raid, 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 raid. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, go around the circle and introduce everyone. Let's start with today's facilitator, uh, Ryan. Ryan. Hello. I'm sorry, not Ryan. Oh, where's Randy. Ryan? What's going oh, on? Uh, where's Ryan? Everybody. We got to get Ryan out here. Hey, everybody. My name is Randy, but I Ryan apologize. is here too. No, it's uh, my, uh, I'm I'm the facilitator, meaning I chose this game, but there are no GMs, so we're all in this together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. And uh, how about Max? Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Max. That's all I got. <laughs> Sorry, we're all in a little bit of a loopy mood today. Oh, oh, I'm, right. I'm Who playing uh, playing? Dust. Uh, nicknamed Wander. Um, I am a kind of innocent young child with a soft Boston accent and a proclivity for getting in trouble. Yes. All right. Amanda? Hi. I am Amanda. Amanda Powers. Um, and I am... Oh, gosh. What is her name? I forgot it twice. Kit. I'm playing Kit. Kit, wait. No, I wrote it down. I don't know where it is. Kit. Uh, and I think her other name is The Judge because she is kind of the mediator uh, slash den mother, I think, of uh, of this crew here. Den mother is not inaccurate. Uh, and uh, I'm Aki. Like I said before, I play Nano Cage, otherwise known as the Seeker. Uh, and I am our explorer. I uh, discover cool things, uh, including the bow spot that has currently gotten us into a bit of trouble. It's going to be uh, fine. All right. So I'd like to just have us jump in. But before we do, for all of those people who couldn't catch last week or who need a little catch up of what's going on, we're playing a game called Dialect, a, a game about how language is created and then eventually dies and the stories that happen in between. We're playing a group of uh, small children called the secondborns who live or not too small but children who uh grow, who are living in the abandoned mines below a giant city on an asteroid um this is a mining operation and we are taking up resources and hiding 
in the shadows being shadow brokers and information dealers. So that's where our first part of our story started last week. We played through age one, and now we're going to be moving through what's called a transition in the game, which allows us to move into age two. So to begin the way that this happens, I know last week we did this, but I want to read it again just to refresh our players and your minds. So we are discovered by a representative, a group of adults. They do not understand us, but wish to usher us into a life that serves their own uncaring values of pocketbooks. At the same time, we lose one of our two major sources of necessities, and that person does us a favor to help. So to all of the other players, who is this group of adults? Um, so they're greedy. They want to use us to some end. To some end, yep. Uh, I would think like maybe uh, like we're picked up based on like the fine the, the body that we saw dumped in the in the bow spot before. Maybe they're like a mafia type group or some kind of gangsters, like space criminals. Is Glenn a part of this? <laughs> Glenn is one hundred percent in on the space criminals. He, he, Glenn is just Glenns. a criminal in any in any genre. He likes to get his slippery fingers into people's stuff. Okay. What if? Yeah. What if they're like not local? What if they're like off-world oh, type? Shit. Like we could we could because time passes, right? So we could potentially yeah. like completely mm -hmm. change the setting if we wanted to, but. Right. Um, that might yeah. be complicated. Yeah, but, I, think, um, I, I would like to stay kids or at least younger. Like, I don't want to be oh, sure. Adult. I just meant like six months a year or something like that. Oh, yeah. All. Oh, yeah. Um, I think that, that's yeah, really mafia. Mafia. rad, though, that they're off world. Yeah. Like space marauders, like space pirates. <laughs> just I just don't know if I just don't know if that destroys all of our. Uh, well, maybe they have an plans. ulterior like our our plans are to survive right we just want to be oh we want to get off world so we but we don't trust people we don't trust adults which is the key point right yeah i don't think we can go either because like it then we wouldn't be a drain on resources we wouldn't be tunnel dwellers Fair. and we wouldn't right. necessarily be information brokers so it probably does have to be something that keeps us where we are yeah. um but but why not have them be from off off the asteroid and like they come and they use us for shit and they've got us you know where they're on asteroid dudes like like mm, yeah like shady immigrants like like actual like Maybe no. i i like okay like, i think i i think i might know a middle ground here so yeah. i think that the asteroid has has proven to be more resourceful than people re like uh mm. like um anticipated and that has attracted a certain element of people attempting to either pilfer goods or learn a little bit more about the methods that are being like used on this asteroid uh perhaps on com like competitive companies are being like can you get us information on how they they do their like their job like um and this group of people have kind of come in uh to be like you know we'll pay you for information we uh we are like a different company that work on an asteroid elsewhere that we're not having as much luck. We don't seem to have like the right um, method or skill set or whatever. And we want to know a little bit more about how this company on this asteroid is running things. Like corpo gangsters trying to figure out like, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll, I can, I can dig on that. Yeah. Sure. Corporate um, espionage. But they have, to, they have to give us a scarcity, right? So we have to have a scarcity and then they have to fill that scarcity. So we have a scarcity. So one is uh, like we were talking about like shelter and stuff, right? We have that right now. We might mm -hmm. be able to lose that. Um, and the nightclub water, like that we're pilfering water and food as well, right? Right, right. Maybe there's a mining accident? Yeah. Accident. Yeah, maybe there's I, a mining uh, accident which causes like our where we're staying to sort of be not as you know useful like maybe because the lower levels which are being mined have this accident some of the miners are, are coming back up and 
that means we have to escape, like leave that the portion that we called home. I can dig that. Right. Which they because I, I'm sorry, I'm a little confused. I was having a little bit of a hard time following. Like if we did, if these new adults, let's say they like sabotage some part of the mine and it causes hmm. a bunch of people to flee, then people are going to come through our zone and find us, which means we no longer have the like solidity of a safe home. And is that how, like getting expelled from that, is that how the criminal people find us? Because we have to find like a temporary place to live? Or yeah. we have to find a temporary place to be, and thus they are like, hey, what are these like weirdly organized <laughs> group of small children doing? <laughs> Fuck are these guys? Um, yeah. Yeah, I uh, think that could work. Okay, sounds like we know who these adults are, and we sa- it sounds like we know what the reason that we ran into them is. Um, so they're giving us some kind of dwelling, or they're 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 helping us at least find some kind of shelter. Uh, so that makes sense. But then my next question would be, how are we reacting to that? Coming in face to face to face with these people, how are we as a group of of, of little children. How are we <laughs> dealing with this? I mean, I think that Kit is really excited because her big thing is she didn't want to be living underground anymore. She wanted out. She wants like a better life that is not down there. She wants to, you know, get out of here. So I think she is maybe the happiest <laughs> or <laughs> one of the happiest people about it um, because, yeah, she just wants out. Good to know. Um, um du- dust is definitely into it dust is into anything new so this is like you know fine he's just like yeah this is great like why wouldn't i why, why would i worry about something like this this is I okay all right so that that sounds uh, good <laughs> i would say that nano is probably of all of them uh slightly not suspicious but maybe a little bit resentful because now that they have like a specific job or or, or like a um, set of, uh, of uh, parameters that they have to kind of sit within they don't get the chance to sort of explore as freely as they used to um, because mm. now they have a job that they have to do. It's like we get information for these guys and they keep us safe basically mm. it's just like can't really go slapping about doing other things so. Alright how much time has passed between Act 1 Age two, Ugh. a year. I That's like my it. pitch. I'm into it. Six... <laughs> a year. Yep. So dramatic ages there. Um, yeah. For one that. year sounds good. And then the last thing uh, is next to evolve an aspect. So we currently have three aspects: <laughs> tunnel dwelling, drain on resources, information brokers. Right. We can evolve one of those and take it into the new age. Um, sort of changed. What What do we think? I would. I mean, sorry, Max. Go ahead. No, no, no. Uh, do it up. Go big. No, you do. Fine. You go. Uh, okay, I will. Uh, um, I was going to pitch that we swap um, information brokers and switch it over to something that, like, we've been told to do by these adults that we're. You know that if they're doing corporate sabotage and espionage that we're now like yeah corporate spies you know yeah corporate spies or we're like i don't know destroying the fucking my yeah we're saboteurs something like that yeah like that sounds fun i kind of i like oh i like spies a little better just because i saboteur i feel like implies destruction and if you go around causing a bunch of destruction like you're gonna you're Um, gonna get but, get but, caught and in a lot of trouble much faster. Who would be the best to That's get true. away with causing destruction and looking like they weren't guilty? Because I think it would be children more than adults. I was like the cutest little softly Boston accented lad <laughs> that all uh, around. Probably. I never look at what's in this backpack. They just tell me where to take it and I drop it off. Oh, no. And then yeah. the next day, that place is gone. But I don't think it's got anything to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I, so I, I, uh, <laughs> I think 
I think uh, we can do both. We could be spy saboteurs. Like it's yeah. I don't see a reason why we can't do both. Like we're feeding this other, we're feeding the corporation information about the mines while simultaneously, you know, incapacitating the mine. All right. So it sounds like drain on resources, tunnel dwelling are moving to H two, yeah. but information brokers. How would we like to say like announce sort My of our new? One second. My only problem with that is like we're literally not tunnel dwellers anymore. Well, I think well, like, how are we supposed to it. build? How are we supposed to build a, voca- a new vocabulary in a new age with something that we don't actually have anymore? If, I think we you know still I mean? live in the tunnels. We just don't live like we have to stay mobile. Yeah. That we're like okay. now moving around. I think we're the tunnels are big. We just have had we've been forced to nomadic find a new home. nomadic tunnel dwellers. Yeah. Where we are now instead of stationary. Okay, got it. That makes and, sense to me. And I think our, our work is what, what has changed a lot. So what would we like to put as our new aspect that defines us as a group? Corporate spies? Yeah. We've really, I feel like <laughs> we've gotten it, a promotion. This sounds great <laughs> to me. On paper, it looks really nice. Yeah, except we're children. So, dun, you know. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I like it. All right, except so, we're we're the ones that Bond comes to you know put away. We're not the good guys in this scenario. No, we're definitely going to get murdered, but that's fine. Definitely. So the last thing we're allowed to do before we move on is to discard one card of your choice, if you would like to, um, to make a new one. I mm. am going to oh, cool. Yeah, I definitely do that. Yeah. Oh, I already I wanna- did this. I want another age two card. So I just put it in the corner over here. <laughs> um, if you put it on the board, I can take it. And then you can oh. draw a new one from act two, age two. Sorry, I keep saying that. Somehow I got, I also drew an expletive card um, in the early days, but that's okay. I'm going to toss it. Yeah. Be Sounds out. Good. I want to oh, no. discard this card. There are cards so, everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna put it down on the board, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, I need to. Yeah. Randy, are we doing the same thing that we did in the first stage? Just okay. like That's one cool. turn each. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, it, so did everybody draw their second card? Like yes. So and the first Amanda, one. yes, I think so. Yeah. All right. Ooh, okay. I need to decide which one of these because I got some pretty good ones. I see you, Max. <laughs> Oh man, sorry. I'm 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 suddenly very torn. They're all very good. Uh... <laughs> all right, I think I'm gonna use this one. Evolve. As pressure builds, we change in ways big and small. As we change, so does our language. Make a connection. Play on an aspect in the current age and choose a word from the previous <laughs> age. Move the word to the new aspect and explain how the word has changed meaning because of this aspect. Skip the build a world uh, build a word phase. So I think the word I want to uh, evolve <clears throat> is hold on. I think I want to evolve bow spot. Um, before it was being in a place where you could hear the right thing or, you know, find the thing that you wanted to find, um, when you wanted to find it kind of a thing. And now I think we use Bow Spot to describe the perfect place to set up a bomb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, that's nice. I like it. It's the be- thematic. Oh no! <laughs> uh, it, it, it's horrible, but also makes sense. And I, I love it. 
I knew you so would appreciate word change? that, Max. Uh, so the, the word, word does not change, just the meaning evolves. Oh, okay. So now... I'm just going to play the player who is kind of confused and doesn't understand how everything works because I'm kind of confused and don't understand how everything works. Oh. You're doing great, Amanda. No, but I know. You're I'm also like... The, yes. You're a perfect audience surrogate. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. That makes you the main character. Yep. Uh, no. Too late. <laughs> All right. So the scene. What scene are you choosing? Um... I think I am going to set up a scene with the shadow broker who I am not in like who I, I feel as though has kind of thrived in this new sort of environment. But you can let me know if that's how you feel about it. For me, it's just sort of like I get to be the person who does the thing that like it says in my name I do. That's that's yeah. No, I'm I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> Scar so, is also um, so yeah, where are we? What are we doing? Uh, maybe we are getting ready to um, uh, break camp so that we can move on to our next spot. Sounds good. Um, uh, uh, Scar, can I can I talk to you? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, I was you know doing some crawling around. I heard some pretty neat info that I'm definitely going to have to pass on at some point. Um, it's a... Uh, I think I found something. Or... I'm not sure. I, I have to do a little bit more recon. But I think I found you know... Yeah. Yeah, I, I think... Um, I think it could be pretty, it'll either be super devastating or it will, it will cause just enough ruckus to really kind of slow things down a little bit. Give us, give us a little bit more time. So, so I, I, I know that Astro Core needs this to burn. Yeah, but the faster it burns, you know, the sooner we're all out of a job. Like, we got to find the, the perfect... You know, this 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 is good for all of us. Like, if, if we give them just enough of what they need, you know, they, they keep us safe and, and and stuff like that. And, and, and you know... So, so you're telling me you found a, a nice bow spot for the package, right? Um, yeah... Uh, yeah, that's, I think so. Yeah. Uh, why? Okay. Anyway, I want you to set, set it up like we were told to. Yeah. But make sure it doesn't do as much damage as those adults think it should do. We want to make sure that we're still useful to them. I think you make a good point, Nana. And this is the, I don't think you make a lot of great points all the time, but this is one of them. Thanks. Brutal. Thanks. Thanks, Scar. That, thanks. That's, that's real, real nice of you. So I should, I should go and, I should go talk to Wander then. Um, he's, he's probably the right person to send in for this. I agree. I kind of amble by. Somebody say my name. Oh, hi, Wander. Hi, hey, Nano. How is it going? It's going all right. Um, yeah. I, I uh, actually, uh, it looks like we might have an assignment for you. Oh, yeah. All right. That sounds fine. You know, I just woke up, so I gotta get. Uh, I gotta go stretch my legs. You know, gotta. Okay. Something Otherwise, I'm gonna stay short my whole life. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, yeah, that's exactly how that works, Wander, for sure. That's why they call it stretching your legs. Yeah. So, what's up? What do you need? Uh, we're we're gonna be dropping off a, a, a package. 
All right. I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna take you to the place so that you can see exactly where. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. You know, the last time I dropped one of those things off, it weighed a ton. It, the thing was so heavy, and I. Uh, you think this one is gonna be that heavy? Cause it took like five loops longer than I thought it would. Cause I, I had to take a nap in the middle of it and everything. My back hurt real bad. Um, I, I don't think this one will be as as heavy. Uh, okay. Um, but you should go get something to eat too. Uh, eating is also good for for becoming tall. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I want to be huge. <laughs> Great. Sounds like our bow spot now means a place to blow things up. <laughs> well, this is going to be exciting. Ooh, I, I know. Yeah, we and <laughs> we made the innocent person the one to do it. Oh no, I'm, I'm on it. All okay, right. Great job. So next, let's move on. Who's next? You. Oh shit! Damn. All right. Me. <laughs> um. All right. Mm, yep. Okay. So this is an environmental feature, a distinct feature of the environment, be it natural or man-made, has gained profound meaning for the isolation. Uh, and the, what's this say? A dangerous climb is the uh, is the prompt, but I think we we'll use something slightly different. Um, so what I would say is the, the feature that now has, has gained important meaning is that the first time that we set off a bomb, it, we like way the fuck overdid it because we didn't know what we were doing. Um, and in doing so blew a giant chunk out of the center of this whole operation and caved in a giant chunk of the mines but probably also a few of us died um and so it's kind of like a graveyard and it's kind of like a bad omen and we don't really we like avoid that place pretty seriously um i don't really have an idea for what the word is beyond that but that's that's my idea for kind of what it is it's so a, is it a... Uh, it's it's a part of the tunnels that like is caved in and probably has a bunch of dead children i know <laughs> is there a hole in like the top is it like a sinkhole or it's only lo like located within the earth does that make sense mm. yeah well when you see it from the surface i guess is my is my question i would say that probably i would say that like you probably you know like a like a sinkhole or like an earthquake area like we blew it up and things caved in downwards so like it's not like you can like look down and there's like a 60 foot hole but like now the the surface is like like indented like a valley up top but for us it's just solid all the way down i want to call it like something maybe a compound word or some kind of thing that indicates that it was like a whoops <laughs> You know, oopsie do. <laughs> yeah, it's called an oopsie do. That's totally definitely an oopsie do. Right? No, but like, um, like the mis like a mistake. Like it was a, it was a mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a mistake with like big, powerful consequences. Right? So it's not just like a little mistake. It's like, oh no, you done messed up. No, fuck that. Right? What's like a word um, for like a giant fuck up? <laughs> Um, my brain is just going Japanese with this so hard. It's just like, like cool with me. What, what do you got? It's like, yeah. The, the, the word for big is die, mm -hmm. or Great. or you could also go <laughs> ol. Uh, one or the other depends on on the context or the the combination of, of characters. I like die because it mm -hmm. has that connotation as well, mm -hmm. right? The and, and our our asteroid we, we we said it in the very first is is very multicultural. So, mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so you said it means die, big. Sorry, yeah, die means big. Yeah, or huge or large. Yeah, it's just can we pair it with something that means like mistake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking. Is like we oh, oh it would okay. be die something, uh, yeah. but die would be like the first part of it. 
die. Oops. Uh, <laughs> I was, uh, you know how sometimes people say "op" or or, or something like that, like yeah, like die op, die op. I mean that. Could oh, the work. like, like that gif where it's like and I and I, oh. yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like die op, oop, die op. So <laughs> sure, I'm yeah. down with that. All right, all that right. Works. So this is a yeah, right, this is a place. Where yeah. we blew up our friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Whoop! That's a which dial. which aspect did you tie that? To? I guess the tunnels actually. Never yes, mind. tunnel tunnel dwelling. I'm... Um, I, I mean, we could tie it. You know what? No, I, let's tie it to being um. Corporal size. Yeah, I was gonna say we could tie it to being corporal. No, tunnel dwelling's better. You're right. You're yeah. right. You're right. Dial. Um, and it's how do you spell that? D A I. Yeah, D A I is correct. Dash O P. <laughs> dash O P. Dio. Dio. <laughs> that's good. But, but it has reverence. I, that's what I like about it. Like, it sounds like it could be something that's like ridiculous, but then also like our our society has given it like a yeah, sort of. It's powerful. It's like an elephant graveyard, kind of. You know, it's yeah. like. Like that place is fucking kind of holy, but in like an evil way, and like it's a little scary. It reminds okay. us of bad times. Um, okay, so scene. Um, I'd say let's do all four of us. I think this is a good scene for all four of us. Um, I think if we're if we've if we've found a bow spot to to blow some shit up, um, we're all meeting about about how best to go about it and, and what the op is going to be. Uh, and I think the truth of it is that we're realizing that either in, in some way the the dio is going to be in, involved. We'll either have to go through it or it's near it or some, some shit. Um, so it's kind of near a sort of unholy bad place. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I don't. I. I don't really want to. Uh, I don't really want to go there. Oh, no one does. No one does. Yeah, but. Best, but like. Why? Why do I gotta go there? I you mean, don't have to go. So, I mean, uh, I've had to go through there a couple of times now to. I get it, Dust. It's it's not. It's not a fun place to go. <laughs> no, no. I you just know, uh, a lot of people. A lot of people died. You're right. But this job needs to get done, Dust. You're the one who knows how to do this. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. I'll, listen, Dust, I'll come with you. I'll come with you so you're not alone. Like, you know, oh. and plus, I think maybe there's some safety in not being alone. Gives less of a chance, you know, gonna do a die up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be, that'd be something. You know, I, 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 yeah, I'd like that. That'd be great. You know, cause all right, I don't want to. I don't want to be a sinker here, but I don't want to be just sitting around. I don't want to be. I don't want to be doing nothing. But yeah, I'd, appre I'd appreciate it if you came. Cause um, yeah, that place. Don't is, worry about it. That place is. Uh, that place is. One time, one of the other guys said that place was haunted, and then one time he saw Jimmy, Jimmy Two Boots, and he saw Jimmy Two Boots, but I know Jimmy Two Boots is... That guy is dead. So how are you I gonna... Mean... Nano, you know, you remember. You remember that story? Yeah. Yeah, I, I do. Uh, I try not to think about it too much. Yeah. I think about that a lot. Oh, 
hey, listen, though, I mean, dwelling, I, I mean, I understand that it's sad and, and, you know, but dwelling on the past right now isn't going to help us, right? Like we, um, somebody found the bow spot for this thing. The sooner that we get this over with, the sooner that we help, uh, you know, our new bosses, I guess, the sooner we'll be able to get out of here and, and just live the lives that we want to. So... <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Then we get to go up top, walk around. I ain't been up there in so long. <gasps> no. Oh my gosh, you know what we can do whenever what? we want? What? We, we can do some slapping about. Oh. And no one will get mad at us. No one will think oh. that we're wasting time. It's just we can do what we want because... Well, until we get this job done... We are just slapping about, so guess, but, uh, Kit, if you're going to go, you guys need to get going. Yeah. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, yeah. can only go so fast. And she points it at her leg, but we'll go as, we'll go as quickly as we can. Are you, are you, are you sure? I mean, I, I could also go in, instead of you. What? Oh, no, 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 no. The judge and I got it. Judge and I, we got it. it. You two, you know, you got jobs. You gotta get, you gotta get everyone up and out. And you gotta go see what what else is up ahead, because, because yeah. you know, if we stayed here, they okay. find us. I mean, I've been working on it. You know, like I've been trying to, to, kind of, exercise it and and massage it and stuff. And one of the guys says that, you know, maybe there's some kind of therapy or medical attention or something that they can give me if we can ever get out of here. So oh, I bet the good. I bet Astral Core could take care of that in like a second. Yeah. So you know Wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah. That would be something. All right. No you guys you okay. you you all are right. You're right. You're right. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. We're not gonna go we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about the die up. We're not gonna that's all right. I don't need to worry about two boots. Eat that. There will be pieces of candy waiting for you when you get back. Oh. You guys are too nice. All right. Where's <laughs> the backpack? Here you go. Right here. Yeah. Not Load candy it up. this time. Nah, 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 nah. I got this. This is good. Wow, well, good. All right, take Kit's hand and... Wander out. All right. Sounds, uh, yeah, I don't envy you. Uh, <laughs> have fun storming the castle. <laughs> have fun blowing shit up. Why the bird squad? <laughs> All right. All right. So, okay, so up next. What's going on? It's What's going on? All right. Hmm. It's Amanda's turn or your turn? I think it's your turn, Randy. Yeah. Is it me? Uh, and then Amanda. Um, I... Can I get a card? Oh yeah, I forgot to draw a card. Yes, please do. Drawn from age three. All okay. right, so the card that I chose is... Wait, let me just make, put this in the middle. Uh, faction, a group emerges within the isolation with a strong opinion on how things need to change. Name them. Oh, um, oh damn. Boy. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it, it, it sounds like it would be, uh, I, and it, it kind of goes with what has been said here so far, which is um, that basically there's a group of people who want to get off the island, uh, the, the asteroid, and they're really, into trying to do that and because of that well it doesn't necessarily have to be kit um it could be kit if kit that it wants is. okay then it's kit um and and um, oh oh you mean as part of the card oh or, i just <laughs> or, or no what i mean is like even i i feel like even if it's not kit for the scene i'm imagining kit uh, and we'll get there oh, but yeah. for this uh faction it's i i think it is people who are 
sort of giving into sort of astral core and like being like hey i want to be a part of that because this life sucks um we need to name them now mm-hmm. and uh, this is i'm trying sorry to make the connection i am tying this to corporal spies because i think it has to deal with the company that we're working for cool all right okay so how do any of you guys have any ideas on what this group of separationists in a way could be named uh, to join Astral Core. So they have hardcore bought into Astral Core. They 100% believe in what it, like they're buying what they're selling and they are looking for the fast way off this rock, basically. Even if it's not 100%, I think it makes sense to, um, to, that they would be dis- like, just disillusioned with the life that we're living. Like we're now being nomadic in these tunnels rather than being stationary, right? Mm-hmm. We're, we're probably less um, comfortable than we were. And Astral Core is giving them this chance to not- Move on. Like, right. I mean, it's a silly kind of joke name, but like when somebody was like, hardcore, I was like, oh, like Astral Core. Uh, but uh, I'm trying to think yeah, if like, but- well, this could also be a name that the main core of us disagree with. Oh, like, that we like possible. our name for them kind of right. thing. Yeah. Right. Uh, I feel like I can't participate here because I'm going to be naming myself, but... Um, well, well, it doesn't have to be that. So what could, it could be, and and I want to get your, your specific uh, idea on what the scene should be, because it could either be you mediating between someone from that group or like whatever's mm-hmm. happening and like us talking about that group or it could be you are a member of that group so that's that's your choice as a player i don't want to give that to you oh i mean i'm totally fine either way like whatever we decide the word to be could uh, okay. should be might inform that but like she whatever that faction is she's definitely a part of it because she wants out so <laughs> Whether you, whether the whether the group like determines that it's a kind of a derogatory word, or whether it's just a, um, huh. you my know, my brain like has it's just a definition. My brain has been cycling through a couple of things, and I just landed on strozies. Strozies, please explain. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I yes. was like, it was kind of like a like they're the like it's the astro core. And so I started with Astro and I was like, something based on Astro. And then I was like, what if it was like the newsboy, like the newsies or something like that? Like just this, like, you know, oh. little, so stro- oh, like strozies. Well, that could also be like how they, they refer to us because, you know, we're, we are kids. We're kind of like the newsies you know, yeah. of, of bombing corporate buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, hey. But uh, I was thinking Hang something something with that kind of yeah. feeling. It doesn't have to actually be Strozies, but like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I I was like kind of playing around with the idea that Astro, some part of Astro, is part of like our name for this group. Um, I mean, I like it. You know, I think it yeah. it, it yeah. says what it is. It's like these are the, this is the faction that like is kind of um, fan fan people of uh, Astral Core and want to go to the stars with them. Yeah. So they're Strozies. Strozies. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like it's infantilizing in its own way too, which is kind of lovely. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm in love with that. And as it's my word, I've chosen it. <laughs> no, uh, thank you for, for the help there. So the, the scene that needs to play out here is a disagreement made public. Okay. So... I feel like it would definitely be a a situation between Scar and (laughs) and Kate. Oh, for sure. It's about to about to throw down. All right. Do you want to know how it's spelled first? Yes, please. S T R O S I E S. S T I O S T I S. No, S T R O S I E S. I don't know how I got that, but. May you good? All right. Uh, stro, stro. Stro. Stro-a-tier. 
Feel great. S T R O. Sorry. R O. Yeah. No, I apparently can't spell today. Strozies. <laughs> now we be good. Strozies. Yeah. All right. Uh, cool. So, uh, what? Where are we? And what are we doing? Is is what's happening? And I imagine that uh, this whatever base that that Scar is sort of giving orders and and telling people to go out on missions from, he's specifically called um, Kit. And Kit usually, I would imagine, is in their seat as mediator or at the council. But given that there's these new corpo powers, Scar probably has not been there as often. Um, because they, they want to keep an eye on him. But he knows, uh, he has some information, I think, on it. Okay? So he's asked you on to come. Me? Just, just that oh, okay. you are sympathizing, at least with this group. So you're asking me to come back to the tunnels or to- Well, I'm asking you oh, to come okay. to where I, like my, my base of Oh, operation. sure, 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 sure. But is that so, in the tunnels or out of the tunnels? It's in the tunnels. Because okay. I, I don't think we go out of the tunnels much. <laughs> like, except when we're blowing stuff up. Uh, so, come in. Kit. What a lovely welcome. Yes. It's what? no lie that you and I are not friends. Right? No shit. But even you... I thought would be better than this. Excuse me? I have photographic evidence right here that you have been secretly meeting behind my back with our our agent at Astrocore trying to get yourself a better deal. What? You got all that from a photo? No, I got all of that from the little kid that we sent to watch you. So, oh, so, so, that? kid. Stop. <laughs> you. Have... People trust you. I trusted you. At least we didn't have to agree on things. But I thought this group meant more to you than, than just selling us out. You're just another Sinka. I don't know what you're talking about. You're making up some stories here, Scar. It's really sad. Like, I don't know. You're playing dumb. All right. I'll give you a I'm coming down to your level. Oh, very nice of you. So you're saying you, you have no interest in being so you're, one? No, so you're saying that it's wrong to want to leave. You're saying that it's wrong to want to strive for something better for yourself. And you're saying it's wrong to take any initiative that you can to make that happen for yourself. Is that what I'm hearing? Is that you're planning to live in this hole forever? What I'm saying is that we built this group on something. We, 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 we've been trying to help people survive these last few years and, and you would go and throw it all away. Yeah, for and some now we're blowing them up. Ideas. Yeah, and now we're blowing them up. So I think that's a pretty big change already in the whole group. Why can't I want a pretty big change too? You can't make us stay here forever, Scar. We're not going to be kids forever. We're not going to live here forever. Like, I realize that this, that the second born are pretty much your entire life, but they're not my entire life. They're my life now. I care about them. I'll, I take care of them. I mediate their problems. But you, out of your freaking mind, if you think that I plan to stay here for the rest of my life, and I will not apologize for taking my opportunities where I can get them. I've sold no one out. I haven't done anything against anybody else. I've only done things for me. You and you can't tell me not to do that. And you can't make me feel bad for it either. If that's what you brought me here for, then I'm No, done. that's not what I brought you here for. I brought you here to let you know that if you continue down this path, you will be the death of the second forms. You and all those stupid strozy friends of yours. You're you're free to you're do whatever put that you on want, me. But when this group dies, it'll be on your head. 
No, it won't. You can think so. It's not on my head. If anything, it's going to be on the heads of the astral core who convinced us to start blowing shit up. If you think that that is less of a danger to this group than me wanting to leave, you are farther out of touch with reality than I ever could have imagined. Um, so, you know, you think I'm a Cinco, I, I really don't care because I'm not, I'm out there helping as much as I can. And I'm also helping myself. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Great, I have things to do. And she slams the door on her way out. Oh wait, it might not be a door down there. <laughs> yeah. well, she just, just slaps a wall real loud. <laughs> can we make yeah, that she's cannon? Like... Boom. <laughs> we slap walls. Because I feel like, like, as a teenager, when I was angry, I would try to slam any door I could to be dramatic yeah. because it angered my Correct. mother so much. <laughs> this is so... appropriate, yeah. <laughs> All right, nice, nice. Cool. Oh man. This is that was a very very go. good. That was a very good scene. Well Let's done, fight. both Let's of you. Let's do it. All right. Whew. Um. Cool. That was great. I love that. I totally forgot that we were supposed to be saying a word. I was like, oh, we're fighting now. <laughs> it's not like the fight, that fighting focus. It's just like, whoo. It is your word though. So. Oh, it's my turn, right? Mm. Okay. Let's see. Um. Uh, so I don't have one here that I super love, love, but um. I am gonna use this one, which is, you know, I've been playing Roll20 forever and I still don't know how to put a card down. We learn as we go. Oh man. I usually oh, just, man. I'm just, I just yell at it and myself until something happens. Full of, full of problems. Um, new ritual. Moment with the passage of time. With a uh, new ritual. With the passage of, Jesus. The passage of time our routines change. A new daily ritual has become common in the isolation. Define the new ritual and name it. Huh. Um, so, uh, I hate to leave Drain on Resources sad with no new words, but um, <clears throat> my initial <laughs> thought was to tie this, um, <laughs> was to tie this to, to Tunnel Dwellers because now that we are more nomadic and like there's a lot more coming and going, but we're still trying to track each other. So I think I kind of want a word for a ritual, a, basically like a check-in ritual. Like you check in when you leave and you check in when you mm -hmm. come back. Like not like, you know, official like or anything, just like, you know, maybe somebody's your buddy and you always check in with them or something like that. But it's like an in and out just to make sure that we're all accounted for and that everyone is safe, especially after um, the... Uh, explosion makes total sense. um so that's my thought uh as far as what it should be called oh, no. I'm trying to think of like what sh should we ask do, like, camp what is involved yeah. in it ritual just like popping in and saying something or is it an action or you know i think I didn't really think that far ahead about it or in, in that, that much in depth. So I think it could be like a, it could be an action where it's like a, hey, and I don't know if it's like a little brief little handshake or whether, um, you know, or it's like, oh, you walk in and you're like, this is the way you keep track of someone. You're like, boop, and you pat them on the shoulder. Like, I know that you're here. Something, I don't know. Something simple if it's gonna be a gesture though. Yeah. Oh. Like a shoulder tap, just kind of like going, "Hey, okay, you're here. I've counted you." Or maybe even it's um, like, like you're back. Like a little, oh, like, back. like when you're. Oh, that wouldn't tell you who the person is. I was like, oh, it could be nice if, like, when you're leaving camp, you know, you like tap on a on a tunnel wall or like something, or like, you know, you like play a little tune, like, duck, duck, da, da, duck, duck, duck. And they're like one out, you know, when you're coming back, you're like, da, 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 da. Yeah. So no, Obviously, no, don't use that. But, but. It, it could be, it could be like, as we leave, we we've learned to sort of give that symbol as we're going. 
so that the group knows that we're leaving. We just need this card. Just means we're naming what that ritual is, hmm. right? Right, right, right. Or, think of or like... it's a it's a check in. It's a check in. It's keeping track of people. Um, like... It is reassuring. I think it is. I mean, it's like a roll um, call of some sort. Sort of. I'm just trying to think of like. It's just not like words. roll call makes me think of people all lining up. Where mm -hmm. I think this is just like a one-on-one -on -one type of thing, right? Mm -hmm. Like not a roll call. Like everyone shows up at dawn or whatever. Mm -hmm. it's just, <laughs> Shut up, dawn. Um, so, oh man, when I was thinking about this earlier, I had a word. What about and then, what about like I, FC? like a face call, like kind of like a roll call, except it's specific to a specific person. And I'm thinking like FC as in like, instead of like, that's what it was called. And it could change over time to being like an actual word itself. I like that. I think that's really cool, a face call. And mm. yeah, I mean, did it's sort of like, oh, did you? Yeah. Did you FC with your partner today or something? Or well, I don't know. Well. <laughs> Well, well, I think it I think, immediately sounds dirty, but yeah, I'm gonna do it. So there is, I'm there, sorry. <laughs> just to let you know, there are cards out there that can be innuendo cards uh, as well. We, I don't know if any of that us had it. That is not what or, I meant. It, no, no, I'm saying like <laughs> basically the way this works is as we put cards on uh, on the board, later cards can piggyback off those cards, and Act Three has a lot of those. Mm -hmm. Oh, of like adjustments. That's cool. So, so I mean, if 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 Max wants that weird i, I don't i, I play an, i play a nine-year-old and i think That's i'm true. not gonna get it's into true. that <laughs> i forgot about that cool yep cool i'm gonna go with fc i'm gonna go with fc just nice. the letter f and the letter c F. yeah face call for face call huh. for a check-in uh for people sometimes you only need one suggestion randy because it's the perfect one <laughs> <laughs> all right Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. So I have to say, what's the scene here? It's um, the new rhythm of our days. Um, so I think I'm going to bring uh, Dust and Nano and myself. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to all, you know, kind of be, uh, I think I'd like us to actually be coming in instead of going out. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe, maybe Nano, maybe you did join us after all to, uh, to put that bomb in the bow spot and we're walking back from that or, or maybe, maybe uh, we could make it so that um, Dust is my FC partner and I'm, I'm greeting you as you return. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh sure, okay, we can do that. That's great. Um, gosh, everyone's so full of awesome ideas tonight. Why are you all so good smart? Right? You do, though. <laughs> How dare you be good at this? Ah, uh, um, no, I just love it. Words are yeah, I can love words. So, um, all right, so uh, we'll head back. Well, that wasn't too bad. Dust, right? No, no, it was uh, yeah, that was all right. You know, I for a second I thought I was hearing um, a bunch of ghosts, but then as it turns out, I just had farted, uh, and so that was on me. I did that. Is that you? Yeah, that was gross. That's I smelled something. I, Gosh, man, what are you eating? <laughs> mostly uh, garbage, but <laughs> sometimes. Other one time there was this big worm looking thing that crawled out of a wall and I figured I ain't never eaten it before and so I just took a bite out of it and uh, that was a mistake. Well, okay. <laughs> so we I was don't, a bad spy. We don't, I didn't, yeah. We don't eat thus listen, listen, I know I know that you're growing up here with us, not the most traditional. Don't eat things that are still alive. Oh, all right. Just general, general good rule. And I'll tell you what, like, you know, you know where I am in there at all times. If you have a question as to whether things are edible or not, or maybe uh -huh. whether you should touch something that looks funky or anything like that, 
I feel like you should come see me because、oh. I'm pretty smart. I, you know, I read a lot. It gets boring. I don't. I,、uh, I don't want to be like a. I don't want to be annoying. But if that's the case, then I'm gonna be asking you like a million questions. <laughs> so, I. That's a great.、Um, thank you for that. And she just kind of like aside to herself is like, die up, die up, die up, <laughs> die, 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 die up. <laughs> you just made a big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, as you guys are getting closer, well, you see a little figure kind of in the in the、uh, you know entrance、way. of the the. Okay, kinda... so dust dust will pick this up later. Like we will figure、mm. out you know the proper number of times that questions should be asked on the daily. Uh huh.、Um, but it's it's time for FC. I can see. Oh yeah.、Uh, I can see. Your partner up ahead. Hey, there's Nano. Hey, Nano. Hey. Oh, I got a question, real quick, before this test, because Nano and I were doing FC like two days ago, and、uh, and they sneezed real big, and there was a booger, and I pulled the booger off of their face, and I thought, I wonder if their boogers taste like my boogers, and so then I ate the booger, and it did taste like my boogers. So what I wanted to know was, are all boogers the same, or you got different boogers, or what? You stay away from me. Okay. Wait. You, you keep. You keep this. No, no. You keep a respectable di- distance. First of all, you don't、yeah. touch people without their permission. <laughs> second of all, second of all, you don't take their boogers because that's gross.、Um, and I know we just talked about eating garbage, but this is another level, like of gross. Just so all of that. All of that is a big. Never do that again. Okay. And I'm going to tell you right now. I would bet you so many credits that everybody's boogers taste the same. That's how sure I am. Okay. Oh hey, look at oh hey, look it's、I、Nano. Hi Nano. So many questions. Hi. Hey Nano. Oh. Hi. I,、uh. Hi. Oh,、um, everything go all right?、Uh, um, yeah, yeah. We、Naya、like. Nia wasn't too bad, was it? Nah. Yeah, yeah, nah. You know, I, when you got when you got the judge with you, it's not so it's, it's not so tough. You know, it beats beats wandering alone. Well, that's very nice of you to say, Dust.、Um, But anyway, I think from here, Nano. How many loops is it to our spot tonight? Four. Uh, four, four and a half ish, I think. Oh, All right. Well,、uh, can you take can you take dust with you? Sure.、Uh, who you who you I gotta got? Gotta find my FC. Yeah, who you got? Um, who I got? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, um, Echo. What's his What's his name? Um, uh, Trevor. Oh yeah, hey, you know what's funny about that guy? That guy, he just, he always, he just will take a piece of food and put it in his pocket and just walk around with it in case he's hungry later. But every once in a while, he always not looking. You know, you can just, you can just pull it right out of his pocket and eat that guy's food because he doesn't pay no attention. And she like pulls something out of her pocket. Where do you think this came from? <laughs> <laughs> you know. All right, go on. I'll see you later. All right. Yeah. Hey, Nano. Yeah. What's up? I ain't allowed to eat your boogers anymore. But. Yeah, I told you that the first time you did it, that it was gross and you shouldn't. Yeah, that's true. But now it's also like rules. So you are going to try and eat a booger of mine again? No, I'm just saying that now it's rules. Cool. That's okay. <laughs> Fan scene. The end. We're done now. All right, H three. Let's go. Yeah. So. Just, oh wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah just、Sweet. like before,、uh, we are looking at the next change. So this is the path we have chosen. Something. Are we doing black again? 
Yeah. It has to be. Mm. So once you. Oh, cool. You know, it, I am oh, totally I ready. didn't know that. Okay. So something has begun to kill us. Fuck. A few of our numbers have already died. Nice. It's only a matter of time before the threat overwhelms the overwhelms the rest of us. The only way for us to survive is to submit to the adults, give up our freedom and home, and perhaps be separated. What is the danger? How did we react to the deaths, and how do we feel about our options? Oh damn! You guys chose so the black guy. <laughs> So simple stuff, yeah. No, I mean, the red path was even like more Is the red dire. path even darker? Good yes. remedy. Oh, it's there's literally even darker. Christmas. Yep, yep. <laughs> well, oh yeah, no, wow, it is darker. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, this game is super upbeat. We're children. But, but wait, uh, for, for everyone watching, just to let you know, there are all of the the endings and all of the backdrops are not like this. This is what the gamers chose. So <laughs> that's correct. If you're I like us, to be a, yeah, I wanted to be like a fun child, like we're like having lots Oliver of fun. Twist shit. <laughs> this is very <laughs> fun. <laughs> like there is a chance that we will survive this. Chance? Yep. No, no, there's not. So I'm so, getting <laughs> off world. First question is: Who What is guys? the danger? What is killing us? Ooh, um, ooh, ooh, I have a good idea, but it's a little bit real worldy. So if you need to, if you need to card it, I completely understand. But I think that the miners strike on something that turns out to have an adverse effect on people. Oh, like Some they sort like of weird toxin or yeah, yeah. or something like that that has that is. Is messing oh. people up. So like that would like drive that would be like driving that would have to drive us out of the tunnels, right? If that yeah. was what was happening. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. And the first deaths were probably people who were sleeping in their bed. And oh man. Able to be yeah. woken up in time. Yeah. And 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 this is a very good chance for us to maybe finally kind of reveal that one thing we've been holding on to in our pocket for a little while. Um oh yeah, we could do that. Yeah, when we're driven the out. Do I know why, this thing? The what are we talking why about? We're the, the reason why we're called the Secondborns and what exactly that uh, that. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. How how? I was like, did you guys have a meeting without me? What is this? We're being pushed to the surface means that we are becoming more exposed, and that means that uh, specific powers that be are going to have something to say about it because we can't uh, be ignored mm -hmm. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So, is there anyone who does not want to do that? Uh, no, I'm and, and it's totally, okay with it. Okay, I just want to make sure. Cool. So, I think that that's where we're going. Dark um, so, how did we react to the deaths and how do we feel about our options? And what are our options, I guess, is a better question than that. <laughs> So obviously getting out of the mines or being pushed yeah, to- Yeah, I, I, think, I think this essentially like makes tunnel dwelling something that's no longer a possibility for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. That so the sense. thing is, do we submit, like, are we submitting to the people at Astro Core who are, have already sort of given, like, is that where we go? Or are we like, hey, we're going to try to live in the cities and then that's how we find out sort of that, that thing that we keep mm. talking around. <laughs> I have a question just from like a, a, a logistical standpoint is we're talking about um, like a toxic thing that's killing us and then we're saying oh it's going to drive us out then won't it stop killing us is this supposed to be the thing that like no, kills no, us kills not. us or no okay it's what makes okay. us lose what makes us in isolation which is our uh, dependent like our ah. independence our home and our, our culture right we have now to we're, now we have to assimilate force of the society i mean it could kill us all beautiful just just to if we want it to while we're in this age, sure if you went back but yeah this is foreshadowed uh, what has foreshadowed the end of our age it has come to pass the end is near not over because remember we still have to evolve one of these aspects for our culture mm -hmm. so that's what's killing us right. what else what else did we need to answer um how did we react to the deaths and how do we feel about our options um, I think we react poorly. We all this. held hands. I was like, we all hold, held hands and sang a happy uh -oh. tune. 
while Our this was happening. Friends get I like dying that's in their sleep. I like the idea that the toxin is oh no the toxin oh no is susceptible, oh. and we have no idea how far or or near it we might be to it. Um, mm -hmm. And as the fracking becomes more intense, yes. like the the people who are doing this, they have protective gear. They might not even be aware that they've unleashed this. Right. Oh. What mm -hmm. if? What if we grim. haven't completely been forced out of the tunnels yet? But we're slow. Like we don't know when that's happening, and we're edging towards having to. Because I, I I want it to be contingent that we're not completely given into the enemy yet. And I, I like the idea that because we had, we have now established that there are two different factions with the, within the group, we do have a group that is going to Astral Corp for help. And we have a group that is like, well, maybe it's time for us to start asking like the city to help us. Maybe yeah. it's time for us to try and go home. Like, How much time between the yeah. last? I want to say like less time than a year because of things accelerating, maybe six months. I like that. Yeah. It seems about right. Yeah. It's not maybe that less. much later, maybe. Oh yeah. God. What, to, how about we make this even worse? The reason why those people, the reason why those people were mining in those specific places is because we had destroyed prime places for them to mine. Oh yeah. So it's our fault. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, it's 100% uh, no, our fault that this is happening. And I mean, let's all be serious here, gang. Whether or not we know it right now, obviously AstroCore designed this whole problem. Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. They <laughs> exploited <laughs> children. That definitely makes them the villains. Yeah. 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 Are we ready to join them? <laughs> all right. So. <laughs> yeah. Before this gets even darker, yeah. so we're revolving tunnel dwellers into something else? <laughs> yes. yes. To what? Uh, Move on. Keep going. I mean, that's totally fine. What What do we want to call it, though? Uh, I mean, our, I guess we're like, sort of like vagabond children, right? At this point, like if we're forced out on the surface and we don't know sh anything about the surface, we don't know shit about it, right? We're sort of lost at sea a little bit here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. vagabonds. Yeah, vagabonds, drifters. Yeah. I like Vagabonds a little bit better. Yeah. It seems I like... I like Vagabond, too. All right. We're Vagabonds. I like it. Vagabonds. Vagabonds. We know. Vagabonds. Oh. Okay. Big now. I'm going to have to... Oh, not what I wanted. <laughs> oh, oh, you did it. Die yeah. oh. You made the noise. Die oh. Die -oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Uh... These oh, are... I love I love the way Web Captioner translated my song. It said, "We are now bag of buns." Oh, <laughs> bag of buns. Man, buns oh. are good. Yeah. Oh, oh well, right. They are. So, uh... so the re so the next things that we have to do. So we've uh, evolved our aspect. Do any of us want to uh, discard a card in our hand uh -huh. and draw, oh, a new draw a new card? Also, I'm going to move. I'm going to move Corpo Spies into the big circle. I mean, the last eight. How many, oh, yes. how many cards am I supposed to have? You should have three. Two? So one, I should have three cards. At least one from <clears throat> age three. So did you draw that when you, during your turn? I didn't. So I'm gonna, dis, I'm gonna discard another one. Totally fine. And grab, and grab a second. Oh, age three. Just, just FYI, it says that I have three age three cards, but that's a lie. I, I screwed something up and it added mm -hmm. one of my number, but I didn't draw it. Cool. I'm just going to put those there because that's in the way. All right. So Corpo Spies and Drain on Resources also moves into the circle. These are big. We made the first cards really big. If you're playing at home, make the cards small for the end. <laughs> uh, no, you can change the size. All right. So these are our three aspects. We are Vagabonds, Corpo Spies, and Drain on Resources. We're still draining on resources, which is fair because we are. Um, also, just uh, for anyone who's playing at home, if if you're looking at how the, this game works, you do leave the language items out in the age that they were created, but you move in the aspects for the new age. Kind of confusing, or at least to me it was, so thought I'd share. 
All right. Aki, it is your turn. Okay, so both of my age three cards are so good. But I think that since I'm at the top of this round, uh -huh. I I think that I'm going to choose this one. If you want to enlarge that for me or make it bigger or whatever. I don't know. Yep. Can do. All right. A new source. Out of the blue, we hear a word. Our word. Said by someone we did not expect. Make a connection. Pick a previously defined word. Explain how a group that previously did not use this word has begun using it. This group may be either internal or external to the isolation. I can skip the build a word phase and in the conversation, explore this new source for our language. Also, one thing to call out here is the may have an outsider means that the uh, your partner is not tied to being one of the characters we're playing. It could be an NPC character from that outside group, for example. Okay. So I want to pull the word Sinka. <laughs> the first one we made! Yeah. Our baby. I want Sinka to be a word that is now being used by Astral Core. Those dudes. Those, they're such Sinkas. It's not even a joke. <laughs> I will say that, like, I like that we're like cool hip kids who've come up with the lingo, and now all the olds are using it. Yep, the olds are using it. The old cat, the old capitalists are using it. Even worse. Yes, much worse. So, like, how how have they become? How have they started using it? Do they use it differently I, than us, or like... I think they use it. They use it. I think in the same way as we do without the understanding of the depth of the insults, I think. Um, they think all of us are Sinkas, even though we're not. You know, I think they, they are indiscriminate with how they use it and when. Um, they just think it's, you know, it just describes anyone that isn't as cool as, as good as them, essentially. And I, as for my scene, I would really, really like for this to be a scene specifically between um, uh, Kit uh, and I would like it if if Max is cool with it to play a representative of Astral Corp and this <clears throat> yeah. is a conversation sure. that Kit and that that representative are having about her trying to up her status like I don't even want to be in this scene I just want to watch this happen because I think it's going to be very cool so uh where are we what is happening just to give them a start i feel like there's a rendezvous spot yeah. where like uh information is passed to astral corp that we've kind of agreed on and it moves around like every every week or so so that like it no, but like we never get caught. There's like a designated location that's like there's some sort of signal or something that's left there, like a mark on the wall or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, there are a specific couple of people that are basically uh, allowed to make these make these meetups. Uh, Kit is one of them. Um, I imagine Shadow Broker is also one of them. Uh, but this particular yeah, no, time. I I am all for this. Yeah. So. Okay. How to be an adult, be an adult. Max, be an adult. Uh -oh. Be a functional adult. <laughs> oh, God, that's a tall freaking order for most of us, my dude. Very much so. Okay. Overrated. So I think she's just waiting. She's waiting at the spot, trying to be inconspicuous. <laughs> hey. Oh, did did you knock? Yeah, sorry. What was that? Knock, knock, oh, knock, I knock. couldn't hear it. Uh, uh, come in. Hi. Hi. You wanted to, uh, you wanted to meet? Um, I, yeah, I thought we were just meeting to touch base or something. I don't Oh, yes. Uh, sorry. I've been a, a little scattered. Um, we have uh, 
news on 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 what's been moving through the mines. It's airborne and uh, seems like it's from the center of the asteroid. I don't know. Uh, they probably didn't know it was there at the time, but deep scans show that it's naturally formed. It's not sabotage or anything man-made or anything like that. So uh, there's nothing to worry about there. That's all the information we have on it at the moment. Um, what have you got for me? Um, I don't know. I don't know what you mean. I just... just uh, anything new? Any, uh, any new exciting explosions happening around down there? <laughs> oh, well... Nothing, nothing unsanctioned. I, I assure you. Glad to hear. Um, just, you know, being that toxic something. Just, you know, it's been driving, it's been driving us up towards the surface, and not everyone is happy about that because um, huh. they don't want to leave a hole in the ground, which don't quite understand, <laughs> to be honest. Because I would give anything to, to get on a ship and leave. Yeah, I mean. To sink a life, you know, you don't want to be one of them. <laughs> um, what do you mean? The, oh, the... Oh, you know, it's just, uh, I hear you kids, uh, you know, saying it. Oh, oh. You don't want to be a sinker, right? right? Sinker. Yeah. yeah, no, and you know, <laughs> no one wants to be, no one wants to be a sinker. That's, no. that's, a, that's a terrible thing to be, you know? Like, so yeah, no, none of that. Um. I try. I try my very best, you know, like not not to be uh, not to be one of those. That's um, a good idea. Good head on your shoulders, kid. Yeah, yeah, that's what they tell me. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm super useful. Um, definitely be more useful if I can uh, get this uh, bum leg fixed. Oh yeah, and that happen. Um, just a just a job gone wrong. You know, falling, crushing, didn't heal, right? Sure, sure. But, but your, but one of your, one of your coworkers, um, I think his name is Tonka. Um, he told me that it was like a snap, you know, like somewhere off this asteroid to get it fixed and 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 good as new. So, um, yeah. So how? What do you think? Or how long do you think before we, some of us, might get to, you know, um, get promoted? Oh, yeah, no, soon. Uh, you know, obviously, um, uh, what we're seeing down there in the mines is probably going to wind up ending this operation pretty quickly. So, you know, I, I you know, um, pretty soon, you know, I think when this job is done, um, we can have a real serious conversation about it. You know, and, 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 okay, great. and, uh, you should, uh, you know, talk to your friends. Figure out who's uh, who's looking to get out. Put together some names. How, how many can come? Well, I think that's above my pay grade. But you let me know, kid. And we'll get it figured, okay? Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks for thanks for coming and meeting and meeting with me. It was really good meeting. <laughs> She like, yeah. pulled out her hand very awkwardly. And um, I'm not taking your hand. Um, great. I'll, uh, all right, um, I'll have a Tonka come next time. You two seem to get um, along pretty well. Okay. Have a good one there. I mean, I get along with everyone. Okay, bye. Yeah. And he's just like out and he's already on a call. <sighs> wow. Yes. Very nice. The reaction when he said Sinka was. <laughs> yeah. You. Oh, you. Okay. We have kids. All right. Okay. okay. Oh, is it me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. Hold on. Oh, Don't... yeah. No, this is the obvious. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one. Um, Bring it, Max. Bring so it. So I'm doing. Hold on. Let me pull it up a little bit. Misunderstanding. Uh, as tensions rise, voices clash. Even among ourselves, we ascribe new meaning to old words and confusion spreads. 
Um, so make a connection, pick a previously defined word, explain why a change in the community has caused some people to ascribe different meaning to it. Skip the build a word phase, uh, write both meanings on the language item. What, uh, what we know to be true may have outsiders as well. Um, okay, so let's see. A misunderstanding, a new take on a word. Um, I think probably let's um, let's shift the meaning of uh, bow spot and the idea is now that it is like a cursed thing that basically they're like a bow spot what once used to be you know us being like it's a great thing we heard you know we heard this we got some information da, 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 is associated with our old lives is associated with a world filled of poison and that we're like a fucking bow spot is is just absolutely awful. Avoid at all costs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, post right, and and the idea that it used to be a that became a perfect place for a bomb is like a is a great extension for that, right? It was a perfect place for a bomb, and now it's like this is where we fucking blow up and die. Like <laughs> this thing kills us too. So uh, that's not going to fit on a card, like all of that, because we're not writing, right? But uh, no, no, I, I'm, uh, I'm oh, no, no, uh, just um, that's good. change post spot to just like, um, no, what to, I'm saying used to be is a, the card luck. to write the meaning. So, oh, bad luck. Totally fine. Totally fine. Yeah. Oh, or, yeah. Bad luck. Yeah, yeah. Was it used good. to be good luck. Now it's bad luck. Was good luck. Now bad luck. Was yeah. good luck. Okay, cool. You're doing great, Randy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's bad luck. Thank Keeping you all this straight on the roll 20 is not easy. Fucking crazy. Well, it's very convenient. Like, all of this stuff was just already in here, and it's just, like, it's super easy to use. So, yeah. It is very nice, because my desk looks like a full-on, like, Charlie Day, like, <laughs> yarn and postcards. <laughs> like, all right. Over here. So, what um, all right. Be true? I would say that this scene is between Scar and Nano. Um, and I think let's do this one on the surface. Um, and so I think if uh, Amanda, if you or I at any point want to play just kind of folks in on the surface, surface folk, who notice mm -hmm. these kids or anything like that, I think that would be a place where if we wanted to step into the scene at some point, we could do that. But um, mainly, like, we can leave it to Scar and Nano. Okay. What are we doing? Um, I think Nano has just come back from some information gathering. Okay. Uh... Yeah, and I'm here to collect the information. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. oh, hi, 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 Scar. Hey, Nano. Um, how was it? Did did we get the job done? Echo. I I saw something weird. What do you mean? When I was going, going to the, when I was going to the bow spot, there was, there was this uh, group of, of people um, gathered together. They had, they had signs. They were upset about something and I, I, I couldn't, quite figure out what it was they were they were trying to do but there were there were kids there with them with them too mm -hmm. I, I don't know it was 
strange because I I saw someone a couple of someone's who look familiar <laughs> what do you mean by that I don't know it, it had some it was just very very weird one of them and I know this this can't be the case because he's not working today but I, I saw someone who looked exactly like dust same hair same eyes same height same goofy smile hey what are you kids doing here you're not allowed to be outside right now unless you're part of the protest <laughs> Yeah, the protest. Uh huh. Me, me, and my friend, we were we we just kind of got um separated where, from the group. <laughs> oh, where are your parents? Yeah. Are they are they around? They're, they're, we they're in the somebody? protest. We're just we we just kind of got turned around. Uh, maybe you could direct us to the right place. I mean, it's them. right. I mean, we're here. We're here. No, I mean. Um, yes, we are here, but I don't. We, we have to find our family, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. so I mean, no, no. Han, can they come with us while we go? Yeah, we can. We can find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can. We can help you, kid. Come on. Yeah. All right. C come, come with us. We'll, 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 we'll go find who you belong to. Although, you look almost like you're almost an adult, so I'm sure you can. Yeah. Uh... Take care of yourself, but. But my friend here. Han, uh, what? Uh, Han, what's your name? Uh, uh, um, my name is uh, Nick. Na Nano. Oh, Nano. Hi, Nano. I'm Alice. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, James. And uh, and you, fella. Scar. Yeah, I can. Oh, I get it. Yeah. What's your uh, What's your What's your real name? Scar. They. All right. Your parents named you Scar. <laughs> I they, 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 they. They. Yeah. It's his teens with the nicknames. It's okay. It, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. We okay. We, we'll, we'll be fine. We 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 will actually be we'll be okay. But but thank you for the help. I, I I actually think I I see my parents right over there. So uh, we 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 can just go and wait. And, and and wait a second. Are you? No, they can't be. They can't be. No, I've seen this kid. What? Does. Where do you where do you live, Scar? Where where are your parents put? Where's you where do you stay? Which block? Yeah, I mean I know everyone in the neighborhood, so I definitely would know where where it was. Uh, the uh, 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 yeah. I, he... Uh huh. That's what I thought. Okay, I'm calling the yep. authorities. Um, you kids don't move. And I'm gonna start dialing here. Yep, they were us. Uh, <laughs> Nano, Nano, Nano. we're out of here. Like, yeah. <laughs> they're set. Just run away. Just run, run away. away. They're, they're second children. Go after them. What am I supposed to do? I'm not gonna get involved in some second born mess. Let them run. Somebody else's problem. All right. I've never actually seen one before. Not supposed to. Oh yeah, I know. But can you imagine no. if like they stood side by side? I know. Just sneak in and start giggling about them. That was some, that was some bad bow spot. That was that was bad scar. We We almost got caught. Is... Oh I hate being up here. I hate this. Nano? Yeah. There's something I have to tell you. And see. <laughs> uh, 
What? All right. It's too real. No. That was nice. <laughs> cool. All right. That's fucking teamwork. All right. So let's look here. Mm. Mm. We got, we got. Let's see. Okay, I, I definitely will need help building this, but I have something called a unity saying. So this is a, a saying that when things look their darkest, this is what we say mm. to remember who we are. Oh. I just always oh. love these uh, kinds of things. I love that. I want to tie this to um, our our lives as a uh, tunnel dwellers because that is who we are like it's something well, like uh, unless you guys have a better idea of seeing how this because I, 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 I kind of well, I was vagabonds say, now yeah. vagabond, oh, oh we're vagabonds right. now Thank you so for... I was thinking maybe like tying it to drain on resources because that's Me also too. the core of True. who we are in a way and um, you okay. know kind of builds also on the last scene we just did 100% I like that let's do that <laughs> So, so this unity saying is tied to our drain on resources because um, although, it, at least in my mind, although we are a drain on resources for other people, we, at least uh, at playing Scar, I feel like he is definitely of the mind that they deserve a chance to, to live. Like we as second borns also deserve to be here and so um i think i want this saying to be um something that they say when when the, when times are dark to remind themselves that we are strong and we are survivors and like we're worth it we're yeah. worth the effort yeah. to yeah. thrive and function um, i also feel like there's something wonderful about it especially if it's like from kind of scar's side of thing and his faction of like non strozy kids that like mm -hmm. it's like no we're fucking like second borns we're not these like corpro dicks like we get we have like we were forced into this world and we live here and we take what we want and like that's who we are and, like that kind of pride and being like we were these outcasts and, and like we own that we're not trying to be something we're not the phrase like truth really i do like what were you about to say truth i would be like true something like uh like uh so uh if if Cause it, right it, it does not have, to be, have to be one word it can be oh. compound words it can be okay. a, 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 okay. a slight phrase uh, okay, cool. if you want to there is also that page in the book which can help us come up with ideas which, as of right now, my brain is kind oh, of crazy. second born and bred. Oh, second born and bred. Oh, I know. Did we lose? We lost Max. There he is. He bad. Oh no, I'm Max. I'm the glitchy one. <laughs> second born and bred. Hey. Maybe something kind of built on that kind of uh, uh, yeah mentality as second born and bred. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I like stuff. that, but I want to spell it in a cool way. Like, I, I would want it to change from just like the the normal English word "second born and bred." Well, if we're if we're basing it on drain on resources, mm. bread could be spelled like bread. Oh, that's nice. So there's a double meaning there. I kind of like that. <laughs> It's not like we learned how to I mean, spell. you have the final say. You're right. Uh, I, I think that's what it is. I I, I don't know. Right. Something's really poetic about that for me. Like, I don't know. I like it. It's weird, but I like it. There you go. Second born in bread. Can I, can I spell it in instead of I-N? Just like. Oh, yeah. Spell it however you want. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that the bread contribution is. is yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's second born and bred. Oh, I pressed enter and it disappeared. <laughs> second born and bred. <laughs> I, 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 I like this idea for me 
um, the word bread, obviously, it, it, it came from the word, like, you know, to be born bread. But uh, I, I like that it probably has changed meaning. Like, bread has probably a very big significance to us. Like, food and sustenance and surviving. We, we are the scroungers. We are survivors. It's very, very seldom that we get like a fresh loaf of bread. It's almost always stale or some yeah. kind of a hard tack or something like that, probably. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, oh, I love it. <laughs> what's this? What's the steam prompt? I can't, it's too small. A time for, for courage. And mm. may have outsiders. Um, I think, I, you know who I want this to be? I would love to see a scene with uh, Dust needing to be courageous um, and potentially because because I feel like he's he's innocent he, he's he's who we want to root for right <laughs> I mean he's weird no, he's but very we, weird but we want, I still want to root for the guy <laughs> uh, what if he what if he has to do something that has to do with Kit? Yeah, let's do that. And what sh I mean, I'm just saying that could be kind of heartbreaking, honestly, if he like finds something out to Yeah. I don't know. Oh right. Let's stab me in the back. Let's let's do that. So I wanna say there is a situation where I'm trying to see how to build this scene. Like, it's, I don't want to give it too much, and I don't want to, like, that's the problem. Ooh, uh, it doesn't have to be the two of us, too. It could be all of us. Yeah. I, I, I feel like now that we've started to reveal what the secret is here, there is the possibility that um, we are facing the decision between exposing ourselves to our families or leaving with Astral Corp. And Dust is the youngest has the most to like lose or gain either way yeah yeah okay so so yeah so we're going to this is a situation where i want this to be um dust choosing between like the two sides right like between being a, a Strozzi or a true second born. <laughs> Thank you for the raid level one geek. Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. Thanks. Boop, boop. Um, and so with oh, that. Oh, thanks for the donation, oh, Mini yeah. Thank you very much for the donation, Mini Marker. Yeah. yeah. So let's have Aki, would you mind being someone from. Yeah. Let's say that Dust has been approached by someone from Astrocore. Uh, and they are giving him some opportunity to be a part of, like, to get up over the rest of us. Uh, Kit has sort of called him out as someone who is hardworking and has helped with this stuff. Uh, and that would mean sort of selling out some information on our group. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Aki, you would be the representative. Okay. Uh, you could be Tonka if you want it to be. I can, I'll be Tonka. <laughs> cool. So I brought Dust with me? Is that exactly. Okay. That's my, my understanding. All right. Hey, Dust, we're almost there. Yeah, all right. Where are we going? I just want you to meet somebody. Um, so there's an opportunity that I thought you might think was, you know, yeah, I, yeah. Worthwhile. It's not a problem. What's the what's the what's the opportunity? An op it, an opportunity. Um, it's like a chance um, to to make something better, basically. So, um, I you know I think I found an opportunity for a lot of us to go and live better lives. You know, like not having to live underground and not having to hide and not having to eat garbage. Or, you know, some place oh, where, yeah. you know, maybe we, people's boogers will taste different. Then you'd owe me credits. Then you owe me I five would, credits. Yeah. yeah. And I'd have them to give you. 
That'd be something. That'd be weird. <laughs> so, so, so what? So, so then we're leaving. Then, then we, then we're out of here, and we're gonna leave. We're just leaving. I mean, if you have an opportunity to do something to make your life better, I think you should take it. It's what taking about, care of yourself. What about everybody else? What about the rest of the gang? Well, they'll have a choice too. Like if they want to come, then there's room for them. But if they don't, they don't have to. I can't tell anybody what to do. Dust, not even you. I just would like you to come with me because I think you'd. I think it would be good for you. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I want to go with you, but I just want to make sure that. Um, should we invite everybody else? You know, it's like Scott says. You know, second born and bred. We gotta take care of each other. We're all. There ain't no, that many. I mean, left, absolutely. You know? Second born and bred. We'll take care of each other. We also yeah. have to take care of ourselves. It's a I, collaboration. But anyway, uh, hey, hey, um, look, this is my friend. Hey, hey, Tonka. Hey. Hi, Tonka. Hey, kid. Uh, this is Dust. Oh, yeah, the kid yeah. you were telling me about. Hey, Dust. Hello. Here you've been yeah. doing some good work for us. I, yeah, I've been, uh, you know, I know these. I know the tunnels like the like the back of my hand. I've been wandering around them. So you know, when you need to take a backpack or whatever, somewhere, I'm, I'm the guy. I'm your guy. How would you? He like... goes. Go ahead, Kit. Oh, I was just gonna say you're not gonna find anyone better at at getting into places that. Are difficult they're getting into places that they shouldn't i i mean he's fast and he's clever and he's resourceful and you know he's you guys see this thing every once in a while i used to i used to have to hide myself in these little like ducts these air ducts and i gotta fold my foot over my head and nobody else in the crew could do that only i was the one who could do it so you know i can do that too great I mean, I, I do you have do to, I, I certainly can't, I can't do that, but it's uh, amazing that you can. You never know until you try, you know. I, I think I might, I might hurt something if I do. And, uh, oh. I'm not, I'm not young and limber anymore. I, I've got to, I've got to be a little bit more careful with how I manipulate and twist my body around or else it might just end up stuck that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's totally oh right. yeah. Uh, so um, this is this is this is my one concern, uh, Kit. Is I mean you're you're you know getting close to sixteen, seventeen years old, and and you're really capable of taking care of yourself now. Very independent. Uh, very um, you know. Dust is a is a bit younger. Uh, finding somebody who could take care of him and look over look after him is is a bit of a oh, challenge. I'm going to look after him. I don't know what you're talking... I'm going to look after him. I, like you just said, I'm almost grown. Yes. He's like my little brother anyway. I, I, I'm not entirely sure you understand. You know, society outside of this asteroid has very specific rules. And I, I don't oh. think it would be possible for us to just leave him with you there would be questions about your capabilities and um well I and mean, we could stay on the ship we wouldn't have to leave we, we'll, we'll just stay on the ship we don't and, need to go and and i'm and good at, i'm good at rules first one is uh don't eat nano's books uh second one is don't go up top unless you gotta because they'll kill you uh, third one is when you get a backpack, you put it where you got to put it and then you leave as quick as you can because it's going to be loud. And the fourth one is, uh, you know, uh, the fourth one is um, the thing is when we... they're gone, you never say their name no more. Um, the thing is, we have people on board the ship who could look after dust. Adults. Parents, would you like to have a, a, 
family dust? Me, I got I'm, family. I'm a fam. Kit, me, second I'm a, boy I'm and a bread, fam, you know? Why can't... Yeah, we... I don't want to split us up. I, I, I mean, I, when I talked to the other guy, he said that he said that other that the other kids could come if they wanted to. He didn't say there was any, you know, like limitation on 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 that. And Dust is a really good kid. He's so I, I have to believe that he's I'm not usefulness. questioning. I, I'm not questioning whether or not he's a good kid or whether or not he's useful. It's just if we're going to bring you on, we still have responsibility like we have to keep up appearances okay if if people find out that we are employing a bunch of young children and then not taking proper care of them and like kind of letting them do whatever they want like on the outside all of this has to look legit it has to look on the up and up or else we all get into a lot of trouble and the worst could possibly happen and you could become even more separated from each other i'm not doing this because i don't think any of you are capable are not capable of taking care of yourself i've seen that you are that's not the question here. The question is, when we bring you guys onto our ship, we have to worry about how everybody outside is going to look at it. Does that make so, sense? No. So, so you're not going to... You're so not going to let us come? Gonna, no, you're, you're not going to let us come? To come. These, are, these are just the conditions that you have to be willing to meet. Like, we would give well, I just, just a good home to well, live I just, in. People who... Wait, so we wouldn't... Wait, so we wouldn't... I, what about us, though? You're going to separate what him about from us, me? though? You're going to separate you him to, from me? to be with him in that family, you are more than welcome to. Like, you can stay together in the same family. Oh. Okay, hey, hey, Dust. Yeah? Okay, hey, hey, Dust. What's up? I can't, I'm not going to force you to do anything you don't want to do. I'm not going to force you to do anything you don't want to do. Would you want to come? Would you want to come? Would you want to see come? the stars and, and different worlds and and be a family with me? Yeah, that sounds all right. Hey, uh, Tonka? What's up? We're here talking to you about this because, um, because for some reason you want to talk to us, but you don't want to talk to everybody. Because if, if you did, then everyone would be here. And I just want you to know that I understand what the fourth rule is. That when they're gone, we ain't going to say their names no more. Look, if we could take everybody, we would. But not everybody wants to go. And honestly, not everybody is as smart and clever and as resourceful as the two of you have been. If I could have my pick, I'd, I'd take more of you. But we have to, we have to be smart about this. And the best thing is, is there are no limitations on how many kids can be in one household on our ship. Oh. We can, yeah, we can go, we can go make a new life dust and we can go say goodbye we're not just gonna we're not just gonna leave you know so why do you want to come with me and we can go back and and do face call and do fc um and... no no i i, I want to go now if we can okay yeah i don't want to i don't want them trying to tell me that uh that I should stay or something like that. People are always trying to tell me where to go, you know. They don't want me wandering around. And uh, and I think I'd rather they, that they stop telling me that. So I'd rather we just go. Okay, we can go. I but can. you and me, we're stuck. <laughs> yeah. We're stuck together. All right, yeah. Until you don't want to be, of course. No, no, I do. I want to be. That sounds good. Thanks, kid. I'm going to call it there. That was great. <laughs> no, that was nice. Um, <laughs> My heart. So, so, yeah, I would love for the last turn of this age and our last big turn of the game. 
Amanda. Ooh. So much responsibility. You do. Um, group has okay, well, we basically just did. Oh, oh. We kind of got our both the minor. Both the minor. Yeah, I mean, f the ones that I've got are kind of similar to what we've already done, but let me. So I have. I, a... Sorry, yeah. So I'll. I guess I'll pick this one. Um, because the other one was really close to the same as what we okay. did before. So uh, it says oh, decree. <laughs> Some words are best left unspoken, whether it be from authority or within, an expectation has been forged. Make a connection. Pick a previously defined word. Explain why the decree was made to abandon it. Skip the build a word phase. And in the conversation, explore feelings about the decree. Finally, tear up the word. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, so, some words are best loving. I can previously defined word. Explain why a decree was made to abandon it. Okay, so. I mean, this feels like a abandoning the unity setting. Or the unity I'm saying, honestly. Um, but I, I'm, I'm open to other thoughts here. Um, I think it's either that or Sinka. One or the yeah. other, I think. Yeah, I feel like Sinka has, is a very important word as well for us as we've been playing. Yeah. As players. I mean, we evolved that one already. Mm -hmm. It's already been taken by so yeah, right. by I mean, it's so much less. The only other thing I could think of would be would be decreeing that we don't talk about Strozies anymore. That like basically the Strozies yeah. are gone. They made their choice. And they oh, kind of like, like that. Fucking they're dead to us. Yeah. But... Yeah. No, that works for me. Because you've established no more that that's the word. Like that. That's a rule. Like mm -hmm. when they're gone, we don't speak their names anymore. Except for Jimmy Two Boots, we talk about that fucking kid all the time. Of course. I mean, you have a <laughs> name right. like Jimmy Two Boots, and what do you expect? Million stories about Jimmy Two Boots. Order of this. Uh, so. The there's an authority, the word has been lost. You pick a previously defined word, explain it, why it was abandoned, we did. Skip the build aware phase in the conversation, explore how we feel, finally. Oh, so after we get rid of this word is what it- Yeah, can you keep that yeah. card out for me yep. just real quick? Um, okay, so I need to abandon it. So yeah, that's why we abandoned it because skip the build aware phase. And explore feelings about the decree. Okay, so standing up may have outsiders um so let's see i kind of wanted to do a scene that didn't have me in it um but since i'm part of that other faction it makes it hard um well i just think there should be like anymore yeah so. you're not you and you and, right, you're uh, oh did we actually leave did we leave leave that's what it sounded like <laughs> Oh, I'm down to have that be the case if that works for you, I and mean, we can have abandoned poor Nano and Scar to their toxic yeah. lives. And you, um, if you want, you could play an, uh, another member of the the group. You could play, um, yeah. You could be. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, Scar and <laughs> Nano and yeah, yeah, Max. You should be a uh, Jimmy Two Boots. Jimmy Two Boots it? exploded he's, a year and a half ago. Yeah. He, he, oh, sadly, oh, he's the one that exploded. He's the one who exploded in the child. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm gonna sit out so that I can watch you guys be awesome. So, Max, if you want to jump in and be another uh, um, another person on the let's stay side, then I'm I'm down to let this play between Scar and Nano. If something crops into my head where somebody feels necessary, I'll I might pass on. But good. but do you? Sounds great. How are you feeling, Scar? Betrayed. Piss. Never thought that Cinco would stoop this low. Well, she made a choice. She made a choice and she took the best fighter we had on our squad. Those stupid Astrocore folks don't even want to use us anymore 
We're done. We have no way of getting food. We have no way of getting water anymore. <laughs> She's killed us. <laughs> I don't think that was what she meant to do. She just... She just wanted a better life. And you know that she had a soft spot for dust. She wasn't going to leave him behind. We built this group together, right? We've bled for it. And, and, and to go just like a fucking strozy. We don't say that word anymore. I don't... Right. Councils. You know what? I don't care. I'll call them whatever the fuck I feel like calling them. I know the two of you were having trouble there towards the end. And I know you never really saw eye to eye much before that either. I'm sorry that you're hurting. But I miss them too. If there's anybody I'd rather be here with, it's you. Hmm. I know. Thanks. I saw her today, you know. Not, not Kit. I went back up to the surface. I, I followed. I know you told me not to, but I just wanted, I thought maybe if I, and then I saw me or it's really true, isn't it? I didn't want anyone to know if, if people thought we were just thrown away because no one wanted us in the first place. But the, the fact there's another one of you, another one of me up there in a family happy, warm, fed. It makes me so angry. Why couldn't it have been me? You know? I don't think you should talk like that. We're done. There's no coming back from this. Well then, our job is to make sure that whoever is left has as much peace as they can before they go. Second born and bred, right? Second born and bred. It's good. I think that's yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Oh, that was so sweet, you guys. Oh, Randy, you grabbed me right by the heart. Oh, <laughs> um, oh crap. It's nine o'clock yeah. already. Well, it is yeah. nine o'clock. We, we, we do have to do our finale. And because we're wrapping this up tonight, I think we can go over a little bit. It's fine. Yeah. Um, so. so the way this works is we all take a legacy card. Oh. All right, so, so before, uh, I will read the last thing we have. So, entering the legacy, the last moments, or the aftermath, we've chosen to submit to the adults. They usher us into the life they have planned for us. What happens to each of us now? And that is from the point of view of your character. You can read your card and interpret it however you like, but you have the say to just tell me how it's like a epilogue for your character, if you will. So, mm. one legacy card, please. I took mine. I haven't read it yet. I'm a little bit afraid. I'm gonna wait to read it until it's time to actually pull it. Oh, dang. Thanks, Dom. Yeah. 
All right. So, give a narrative, uh, a narrated epilogue based on one of the legacy card prompts. So, there's, I, I know we had a- Based on, on one of them or like we all- No, we, it's your, you do one for yourself. Oh, okay, okay. Each card has multiple prompts on it. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Um, all right, am I first? We can do this in turn order still, yeah, why not? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, I'll pull mine out then. Here we go. Can you enlarge that for me, please? Sure, can. All right. Choose one option for your final narrated epilogue. It may be about your character or the isolation as a whole. End your story. Something the outsiders stand to learn. Or saying goodbye to what was once normal. Or a moment of deja vu. So I think what ends up happening, I'm going to choose uh, saying goodbye to what was once was to what was once normal. And I think what happens is um, there is no way for the city, the miners uh, settlement to ignore the cost of what has happened between the destruction of some of the mines, between the toxins, between Astro Corps uh, <laughs> interference and disappearance of all of these children who they were happy to ignore up until then um, now that there's actual collateral damage uh, they have now essentially gotten the larger galactic government involved essentially and so all of the kids that are still left uh, that are still living are now basically being relocated essentially um, more or less against their will to some other place uh, and there's like no acknowledgement whatsoever uh, who these kids are or how they came to be or what uh, this what was ha what broke down in the system that caused this this isolation to happen essentially. So all of the kids essentially get separated. They all they all get kind of sent off into their uh, into the far reaches of wherever, um, and I don't think any of them ever see each other again. What, what does that mean specifically for Nano? Um, I think Nano ends up uh, on a skiff, probably headed out to some sort of uh, uh, remote settlement on the edges of space. Um, basically, it, it's as happy an ending for them as it could be because it's giving them the opportunity to like, continue to be a, an explorer continue to be a seeker but I think what that does is it sort of begins a cycle where they never feel settled in one space like they have to they move a lot like they just jump from place to place because they don't feel like any place is home they're just as soon as they get old enough to like basically get their own ship like they're that's just what they do for the rest of their life thanks thank you for sharing uh max um all right let's see uh hold on close my deck here okay so my options are contempt for the outsider's ways a ritual for the dead or as the walls come crumbling down um i think what i'd like to do and this is going to be like way 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 in the future um, and I'm going to do a ritual for the dead and basically I think at this point like Dust is I don't know in his mid 40s maybe 50s um, and he starts looking into kind of what the history of these mining operations were and re starts realizing that second born kind of issues were more prevalent than they you know they were around it wasn't just on this one colony um and he starts trying to find other second borns other people from his colony other people from from other ones and he's realizing other kids now adults are doing the same thing and they start putting together a memorial for these kind of fallen and ignored children and for the first time 
probably in 50 years or whatever, he's starting to remember the names of these kids that he really left for dead. Um, and we have this moment deep in the future where we start kind of honoring these these murdered kids. Oof. Oof. Yeah. No, this is this is a great story. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. This game gets dark as fuck. Well, it's just this... So it really is. Uh, it's all your fault. Where we we chose, we yeah. chose, not me. <laughs> we chose. Uh, so we made a decision that we were going to do something on the slightly more serious side, and we're we're, we're, we're sticking to it. So Certainly I really achieved. <laughs> how you will be remembered? Out of the ash, a seedling sprouts, cast out again and again. I. I want to say, I want to choose the first one, how you will be remembered. Um, I think for Scar, his entire upbringing into becoming a young man was a part of this group. Um, And there's no um, sort of going back from that. So I think when, when the government starts coming in and figuring out what's happened, obviously they, they won't blame the giant space corporation they'll look for a scapegoat and um i think being the sort of oldest one of the older people in the group he takes on a lot of the face of like this terror like what was before i think that image gets revitalized in the future or re-examined i think there's uh definitely people in the more present thinking these kids or at least this group was a terrorist group doing lots of damage hurting people causing death and i think he um spends a lot of his life um on a penal colony his face gets plastered a lot of places um and he unfortunately i think he grows old and dies there um when he does pass probably in his late 40s uh because he, I don't, I, for some reason, I don't think he lives that long. Um, they're cleaning his cell and they find scratched into the wall, second boy named Brett. That's it. Hi. Right. Oh, yeah. No, we're going to have a, th- yeah. Okay. This is going to be so interesting because I was like conceptualizing. Okay. So, um, mine if it will come out <clears throat> either a grave misunderstanding sharing a memory of the old ways or coming across the rubble and the ruin so 10 years after leaving um kit has her own ship um she's you know she did really well with that crew and um her and dust kind of rode it up along as as long as they could and then they parted their they parted ways although i think they kept in touch um for sure but she had a job she has a job that um that took her back that finally um she'd been avoiding it but took her back to that asteroid um which has as of has sort of been mined almost to death you know like it's pretty clear that it's like a dying city and a dying kind of asteroid thing when they when she gets there but um you know she lands and she spends some time and she walks around and sees like old places where we you know we used to do mischief and that's you know get food and and that's whatever and, and she ends up at the um the little sinkhole um and just kind of stands there for really long time but like there's no one around like absolutely no one it's super definitely quiet um and i think she just walks over then she just stands there for a really 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 long time just saying nothing um and then like finally heaves a big sigh and just under her breath um says second born and bred and turns around and walks away and never comes back to that place ever again Thank you. 
Yeah. yeah. And um, Damn. so that was that that was a story. <laughs> oh. Good job, y'all. That was so fun. Tense. Oh, that was so good. What a game. Yeah. What a game. This oh, is a great a beautiful game. game. I can't wait to play yeah. it again, honestly. All right. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, to everyone who joined us for this journey, thank you. For those who find us in the future, uh, thanks for joining. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, yeah, yeah, I think it's a... And you stuck around a little late, yeah, okay. which we really We're appreciate. Very thankful, but... Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody who rated and gifted subs and, and donated. We appreciate you so much. Um, uh, Sunday, we have our next episode of New Pantheon Academia uh, at 4 p.m. Uh, PT right here on Saving Throw Show, as well as over on the Fantasy Network. Um, and uh, we have one more game next week. Uh, and uh, we have decided what we are going to play, and we will announce that very soon. But you should be excited because there are going to be no facilitators for this one because uh, we, we've been there. We've done that. And now we just get to enjoy a, a, a session where we all just kind of get to have fun and, and play together. So uh, be excited. Um, we certainly are. Um, and uh, if we want to, let's go ahead and uh, go around the horn, I believe, starting with, oh my gosh, I can never remember what the actual order is. I believe it is uh, Amanda. Hi. So yeah, um, if you want to find me uh, online, I'm mostly on Twitter at the moment. Uh, it's at Geek Powers. Cool. And Mandy? Yeah, if you want to find me on Twitter, it's uh, Roller Raja. It's R-O-L-L-E-R-R-A-J-A. And Max. And I'm on the Twitters at Brosis Movies. It's like brother sister movies. Uh, yeah. And I'm Aki. You can catch me on Twitter and Instagram when we have a life again at Mix Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. And uh, my entire Twitch schedule is available over on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv/slash Hidari Aki. S H I D A R E A K I. Uh, and we want to thank Dom, who is an amazing producer and a great all-around dude and is cool, 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 awesome, awesome, awesome. And uh, we could not do this without him or without the support of Saving Throw Show or without the support of each and every one of you who came and watched us today. So remember, you do not need a GM to play awesome tabletop RPGs. You just need a table and a couple of really awesome friends. We will catch you all next week. Bye. Thanks for hanging with us. Bye, gang.